Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve a problem which appears while compiling your C or C++ programs, which says no such file or directory. So let's say I want to uh, compile this main.cpp file. So I have created this main.cpp file on my uh, computer and I have written this program. Now I want to run this program. So I will write this G++ command and then hyphen O and give the name of my output file, for example, main.exe file. And then I need to give the name of my CPP file. But for some reason, I just uh, missed the name of my C++ file and I give the wrong extension. For example, instead of cpp file i just write main.c right and when i press enter it says no such file or directory this problem occurs when you don't provide a correct file name while you compile your c or c program so you need to make sure that you are in the correct directory in which you want to run your C++ program, right? So my, uh, my uh, C++ program is in my C apps directory. So I am in the correct uh, folder, but I have provided the wrong file name, right? Also, let's say my uh, extension is uh, CPP, right? Which is the extension of this file .cpp. But the file name I provide here is wrong. So I can just say main.cpp. This is also going to show me this kind of error. Or if I have some space in the name of the file, it's going to show me the same error, right? So to solve this error, you need to go to the folder where you want to run your uh, C++ or C file. As in my case, I am in my C apps uh, folder and there is this main.cpp file. But from this command line, how you can make sure on your Windows operating system that uh, what are the files available in the current directory, you can give this command dir command. So just write dir and then press enter. And once you write dir, it's going to show you all the files which are present in your folder. So the file name is main.cpp file, right? Right now I am opening my uh, PowerShell. Same you can uh, do on the normal command prompt or uh, the terminal, right? So I can just right click here where my main.cpp file or main.c file or whatever your C or C program file name is. Just go to the directory, right click there and then click on show more options if you don't see these options and then click on open in terminal and then just write dir to know the file content and you can see the file contents are main.cpp. So the file name is main.cpp. So if you're not sure, just give the dir command and you will see the file name there. Then you can simply write g++ and then hyphen o, the name of your uh, exe file, which will be the output file, which you will run after compiling your C++ program. And then the name of your file which is main.cpp right if you open the powershell and you can just write main here and then uh, press the tab key the powershell also is going to auto complete your uh, file name so if you have doubt just write first few letter of your file and then press tab key on your uh, keyboard on your windows operating system and the powershell is going to auto complete your uh, uh, command right press enter and once you press enter it's going to create this main.exe file for you right 
so let me do it in my visual studio code editor also and let me remove this uh, exe file let me move it to recycle bin and then i gave the command g plus plus hyphen o main dot exe now i gave the right name here which is main dot cpp and then press enter and you can see it creates this main.exe file i can run this uh, main.exe file by just uh, writing main.exe and then press tab here okay when you press tab on powershell it's going to add dot backslash automatically for you and this is how you run your uh, exe file on powershell if you run command prompt so from here on visual studio code i can even open command prompt and on command prompt you can just give the name of your exe file directly and then press enter and you can run your program or you can um, open cmd here and uh, then go to your uh, folder and from there also you can run your file in a similar way. So this is how you can solve this problem on your uh, Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.